Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Okay, today I want to share tips and tricks on using Emperor. I made this video especially for those of you who are curious and want to try using Emperor. Anyway, I've made a review for this Emperor before. There was a detailed description of the Emperor's abilities and talents. So, don't forget to watch that video. Well, without further ado, let's get to the content. Okay, Emperor has two fighting modes, namely Human Mode and Shadow Beast Mode. In Human Mode, Emperor has a stronger defense, and he's also more suitable for close combat. In his Shadow Beast form, the Emperor has a very fragile defense, but his attack range is wider than in his Human form. He also has a special ability to regenerate in this form. Well, the Shadow Beast and Regeneration ability are the hallmark of the Emperor. So, if he didn't have this, I think he couldn't be called an Emperor anymore. Now, I wanna show you the most effective attacks that you can use when fighting. When you are fighting campers, the most effective attacks you can use are attacks that have a wide range such as heavy attack, range attack, and predator's lunge. To fight aggressive players or spammers, the most effective attacks for you to use are spinning attack, upper attack, and sharp ribs. Well, if you are fighting a skilled player, You'll have to make several vain attacks while fighting so that your attacks can hit your opponent. Well, you can do a vain attack by doing just one attack. So instead of forcing all attacks in full, you only need one attack move. Then hold for a moment and watch your opponent's reaction. If there is a gap, then do your fall combo. Emperor is so weak against Helga, Azuma, Cat the Liquidator, Jack Bulwark, and Charge. Why? Because Helga can defeat the Emperor's Shadow Beast form even though Helga doesn't attack him. Take a look at this video. You see, with her light aura, just by walking around, Helga could defeat the Emperor. Especially if Helga is actively attacking. This Emperor is not an opponent on Helga's level. Likewise with Cat, she can steal the Emperor's shadow energy so that the Emperor can't enter his shadow form. Cat the Liquidator's fast attacks and her unstoppable block breaker will put Emperor users in a lot of trouble. And Jack will work with his Shadow Fortress who can block all the Emperor's attacks, especially when the Emperor is in his Shadow Beast form. Then there is Azuma with Neutralization, Shadow Burn, and his Lockdown Talent that can shield the Emperor's Shadow Beast. Shards is also dangerous because he has an astonishing damage. Likewise, his Shadow Squad Leader Talent, Will Destruction Talent, Commander Press Talent and Legion Special Ability, Temporary and Interruption Interval, made him difficult to deal with. Not only for the Emperor, all the heroes in Shadow Fight right now will also have a hard time fighting Shards. You agree with me, right? Well, out of these 5 heroes, I think Helga and Jack Bulwark are the Emperor's Nightmare.
As far as I used Emperor in PvP battles, Helga, Jack, Charge, Cat, and Azuma were the hardest heroes for me to face. Well, how about the others? Will the Emperor be able to defeat them easily? The answer can be yes, but it can also be no. Why? In my experience, Ironclad is the easiest hero for me to face when I use Emperor. But in some battles, I can also be easily defeated by this Ironclad user. Because Ironclad's attack damage is huge. Just one hit, the human Emperor will lose a lot of his health points. Especially if the Emperor is in his Shadow Beast form. And it will hurt even more when he gets Ironclad's Fire Blow. Uh, that's really hard. So I don't dare to assume that the Emperor is strong against this hero and strong against that hero. Well, at the beginning of the video, I've given an explanation of the most effective attacks that you can use when fighting. Please remember that carefully. For more advanced tips and tricks, I'll explain them in this battle. If your opponent uses Helga, Cat, Jack Bulwark, Azuma, or Shards, you shouldn't use Emperor in your first fight. So, use Emperor as the second fighter or the last fighter. Why so? Because in my opinion, by making him our second or third fighter, heroes who are a threat to the Emperor can be weakened in this first or second fight. Well, when we want to use Emperor in the second or last fight, these heroes will not be so scary anymore like in the first fight, because their health has decreased. So, here's the tactic in setting the order of fighters. When fighting Cat, you have to keep your distance because cast block weaker is a real threat. In my experience playing Shadow Fight Arena, of all the existing heroes, Cat is the hero who has the highest percentage of block breakers. Not including Monkey King, Link, Midnight, and Lynx, okay? These heroes have a different block breaker method than Cat. They are not based on percentages, but they are based on certain conditions according to the talents of each hero. For example, Lynx. When Lynx uses his bomb, then all his attacks can destroy the opponent's block. So, they are different, okay? Not only block breaker, Cat's attack speed is a real danger. She's also faster than Emperor, so be careful. Well, when fighting Helga, if you are in human form, you should fight aggressively. But it's different if your opponent uses Helga's spinning attack frequently. 
if you force to fight aggressively, you will only become an easy target for Helga. Because you will not be able to keep up with the speed of her spinning attack. Instead of attacking, just getting close to Helga will be difficult. So be smart to read your opponent's movements. Then, when is a good time to get into Shadow Beast form? I think there are many options for you to choose from. First, you can transform when your health remains between 60 and 50%. I think this is the best option when measured in terms of health point. The second, if your opponent is Helga and your health is still more than 60% left, you can transform when Helga's shield of light or afterlife talents are active. And most importantly, when you are about to transform, if possible, lure your opponent to approach you or corner him in the corner of the arena. Then do it. If you can do that, you can deal pretty massive damage to your opponent and you can also regenerate your health at the same time. Okay, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, when you fight Helga and you are in Shadow Beast form, you have to be careful with Helga's light aura. The reason? You can find it at 257. To fight Helga in this Shadow Beast form, you can combine spinning attacks, upper attacks, and low attacks to overcome Helga's fast attacks. Avoid using special attack because the movement is sluggish. This move will only provide an opening for your opponent. Okay, I think that's enough for this video. I'm afraid you will get bored if I increase the duration. So for those of you who really want to learn about Emperor, don't forget to watch my other Emperor videos. Hopefully useful and see you.